But right now we have, uh, we actually, we, we talked about this. November is a month when we give thanks and our country honors National Bible Week. And today we welcome Jeff Cavins on the phone. Thanks so much for being with us, Jeff. Good to be with you. Um, could you tell us a little bit about this, uh, what's so special about this Bible during this National Bible Month? <laughs> well, you know, the Great Adventure Bible is uh, very unique in that it's really, I think, the only Bible that has baked right into it a plan on how to read it in chronological order. In other words, you know, what is the big picture? People are familiar with the individual stories, but what about the overarching story? And so we uh, took the Great Adventure study, put it in the Bible, and it can be used with any study. But I think the, the thing that I, I'm most proud about it is that you can actually now learn to read it as a complete story to get to know God. Wow. That's great. You know, I was, I was saying to Jeff earlier that I was kind of excited that, you know, Jay couldn't be with us because I've used the, <laughs> uh, his scripture timeline like in all the time I've been a religious educator. And we're looking at some of the video that yeah, Jeff did yeah. to introduce this. And so Jeff, as well as promoting this, you're one of the authors. Why do you think this is, a, you know, the right time for a Bible like this in our church? Well, I think it's the right time right now because what we are uh, in need of, which you guys eloquently laid out at the beginning of the show, is uh, we're in tough times right now. And people need something that is a, sh a sure foundation, which the church provides us with that foundation. When you study the Bible, you're going to really learn two things. And it's in paragraph 236 of the Catechism. You're going to get to know the heart of your Heavenly Father, and you're also going to get to know His plan. And if you can know his heart, you can know his plan. You have something solid in which you can trust and build your life on. And I think today with all the voices on the Internet and television, radio and media, people are looking for answers. And the church has those answers. And the church shows us from Scripture what God's will is for our life. If you could just tell us about how this Bible works with the popular Great Adventure Bible study. Sure. Well, the Great Adventure study is 24 weeks through the entire Bible. I do 24 one-hour talks. We also have a kind of a, a quick walkthrough, which is unlocking the mystery of the Bible, eight half-hour sessions. The Bible fits in perfectly because that is the DNA of the Great Adventure study, the 12 periods, 14 narrative books showing you where all the other 59 fit in. That's basically what we do, and that's what our goal is, is to help people navigate and understand the Bible. Uh, and so it fits in perfectly with that. But it also stands on its own as a Bible that could be used with any other study or simply for devotions or Lexio Divina. In fact, we have amazing scholars that have joined us, uh, Dr. Mary Healy, from the Pontifical Biblical Commission, uh, Dr. Peter Williamson, uh, Dr. Andrew Swafford from Benedictine in Atchison. And they put together some marvelous articles about Lexio Divina, how to interpret scripture, as well as dozens of other tremendous articles in the Bible. That's great. You know, like I mentioned earlier, I'm a big fan, but we, uh, thanks to Ascension, we have one to give away. We're going to be inviting people to send in their names to win this copy. I may draw my own name. And <laughs> I, I mean, that could, that could happen. It could happen. Um, but where could people get their own copy if they don't win the one here from Catholic TV? Bonnie, someone's got to win the lottery. You might <laughs> Um, uh, they can go to ascensionpress.com and get a hold of, uh, of their copy. Uh, they sold out so quickly, it shocked everybody, but we have now new Bibles coming into, st into stock in the warehouse, and you can go there and you can order it. And uh, a lot of people, I think one of the things we didn't anticipate is people are not buying just one. They're buying for their kids and for Christmas, and, and it, uh, it kind of overwhelmed us at first. You know, that's great news because, as Kevin mentioned, you know, during November we do uh, celebrate National uh, Bible Day and uh, during Thanksgiving and National Bible Week. So it's a great thing uh, because, as you know, sometimes Catholics have a reputation for not being scripture literate. So this is a great resource. And as I mentioned, I'm a huge fan of the scripture timeline. Love it. Um, so thanks so much for taking the time to be with us. Um, what do you hope people take away from this in our, our last minute or so here? Well, what I, what I hope that people take away, Bonnie, is that they would truly come to know the will of God for their life. You know, we've got a lot of people and really good people who study a lot and they love to go to conferences and take in media and so forth. And that's good. 
and that plays a big role in formation. But there comes a time where we have to become activated disciples. We have to put our faith into practice. And my hope is that people will co come to really know the Lord intimately and to know the way he thinks, the way he lives, the way he acts, and that as the body of Christ, we'll carry that out in the world. I think that some of the problems that we're facing can be remedied by good people following Christ and becoming the body in, in, the, in the world and doing his will. Well, that would be just a beautiful thing, certainly something sorely needed in our world today. Jeff, thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate you taking the time to be with us, and have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Bonnie. Thanks, Kevin.